Okay. So I'm coming to you guys on week 14, I believe. 15. Week 15. Last week was week 14. Um, from my elliptical. I've raised my resistance to two, so I'm having a little harder time talking. And I figured if I made a video while I was doing this, it wouldn't seem quite so boring. I really get bored with ellipticals or... I haven't really done treadmills because I don't have one, but I tend to turn on the TV and like if I've recorded an episode of something like, I don't know, I think the medalist, medalist recorded last night, I will watch the medalist record, you know, fast forward through the commercials and end up with like a 40 minute workout. And it goes by pretty fast because I'm focused on the plot. So that's one of my tricks for getting in more and not having it be so boring. Um, anyways, week 15, doing good. Um, um, in case you haven't watched me before, my starting weight was 230 pounds, which was like the middle of July. And I had my surgery on August 6th. And um, I only lost like three pounds before my surgery. And today I was 183. Last week I was 185. So that's exactly a two pound loss. Two. Much better than the like half a pound that I had the week before. I'm pleased with that. I really feel like anything over two, huge bonus. I don't think two is gonna, I don't think it's realistic to expect more than two a week. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, you're probably going to have a down week. That's the thing I've noticed. Is you have three pounds one week, you're probably going to have less than a pound the next week. So I would rather have two pounds every week and keep moving steadily forward. And I was better on my water this week. Had a few days, like Saturday I noticed I was bad on my water. Didn't, we were out and about, so I forgot. Sunday I was very emotional. My poor husband, bless his heart, puts up with a lot. My whole family does when I have those emotional swings, which they're happening less and less often, but they still are there, and I notice they're more intense when I haven't had my water. So that's um, important. For the water is important for your state of mind, just like the exercise is important for your state of mind. That was the other thing I noticed. I did not do my exercising. Well, I did it Saturday morning. But I didn't do it Sunday morning. I think it does help. And I was trying to decide if I should do morning, what time of the day. I was talking with Sleeve Singer about the Fit Challenge. Trying to figure out how to motivate myself in the morning to get up and do my exercise. Because I was having issues with that. And her suggestion was to try different times of the day. Which I think is a good suggestion. Because since we're changing, maybe our routines need to change. Um, I haven't experimented with it too much. Because I'm still finding... My old habit, which may be a habit I just have, is if I don't get up and do it first thing in the morning, I just get so distracted the rest of the day by what's going on with the kids and everything else that I just don't get it in. What I like to get in the habit of is when I'm doing that downtime at the end of the day, sitting in front of the TV, watching Survivor, whatever my favorite shows are, get on the elliptical while I'm watching. You know, it's right behind my couch. You can see it in just about every video I do. It's right behind my chair. So there's no excuses for me to not sit on it and have entertainment. So I'm, uh, I'm curious if people have noticed like um, relationship changes with your, within your family mostly, but also with friends. I know we've had, there's been lots of threads on this in uh, like Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and Back to Basics, those channels. They've had it where they talked about relationships and how they've changed. And I'm curious if people can remember who have been through it. When, at what point did you notice people shifting? The only two things I've noticed. I've noticed that I'm more outspoken. I can't keep things in as much as I used to because I think the way I kept things in was to eat. That was how I calmed myself back down so that I could just let it go, whatever it was. And I'm realizing now that even if I eat something when I feel like that, it doesn't have the same chemical reaction in my body that calms me down. So it doesn't work. So I have to find new outlets. And what I'm noticing is I'm not as able to keep it in. So I end up saying what's on my mind, which 
can be good and can be bad. It can hurt people's feelings if you don't do it right. And when you go, I go a little over the top now because I think my emotions are over the top. I notice it's better when I've gotten my water in. So that's one emotional or relationship change, which is mostly about me. People aren't changing the way they treat me. They are, of course, having to deal with my overreaction. But when I come back down to earth, I try to clarify, yes, there were important things in there, but I didn't mean to be quite so over the top. Um, the other thing I've noticed, which I'm finding interesting, is the people I told that I was having the surgery, they, um, there's people that were, I was really close with before surgery. We used to, we don't live real close to each other, but we're, we used to text and Facebook back and forth with each other. We used to live all together in the same area, but over time, that, you know, one of them's like an hour away, and she has three little kids, and... You know, we're both busy in our lives, so trying to get together anymore. But we've always been like sisters. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on exactly. Because I just feel like she's just totally dropped out of the picture with me. I keep trying to poke her with texts and on Facebook. And she, if she responds at all, it's like one thing and then done. We don't call. She doesn't call anymore. I've tried to call a few times, she's just not one to answer her phone that often. Um, I don't know. I know she's having a hard time in other things in her life that have nothing to do with her weight. She fights her weight too. It's like I do, probably about to the same degree that I do. She's a little taller than me, so proportionally maybe her weight wasn't, wasn't quite as bad for her body as mine was. But I just find it interesting that people that I thought would really be interested, you know, that would like reach out and ask questions and approach me with, hey, how's it going? That some of them I thought would do that are totally like MIA. Now there's others that I thought would totally blow me off or would be, you know, putting it down or judging me that are totally supportive and very curious and constantly asking questions and, you know, it's a very supportive thing. And even with my friend that I was talking about who lives an hour away from me, she, when I told her, because she was one of the people I told before surgery, because I figured if I didn't tell her before surgery, she might be upset that I had a surgery period and didn't say anything to her. And I wanted to let in the closest people to me, feeling like it should be a pretty safe place to go. And it wasn't, she wasn't unsupportive. It wasn't that she said, this is ridiculous. She did play devil's advocate and do the whole... Are you sure you want to do this? Because for her, it was a new thing coming out of the blue. She didn't have a clue, but I'd spent the last year researching it and looking into it and talking about it with a hundred different people and counselors and everything. So to her, it seemed like a spur of the moment. She just wanted to make sure I just thought it through, which, you know, I think that's good too. I think friends shouldn't always tell you what you want to hear. So anyways, I just found it interesting how relationships have shifted and most of the time, I haven't had people notice. I had one person, I take that back, this week, on Friday. I was at this end of the year banquet, or end of the season banquet for my daughter's high school team. And one of the moms on the team walked past me and did a double take. And looked back at me and said, whoa, you've lost a lot of weight. You look great. And that was the first time somebody that did not know I have surgery. Everybody else is looking for it, and they come up and they'll say, oh, you're melting away, or you're shrinking, or you look great, and they notice it. But people that don't know I had the surgery have not either been bold enough to approach me or have noticed yet. She noticed, and that was kind of a different feeling. I mean, it felt good, because I was like, okay, somebody's noticing that didn't know I had surgery. But at the same time, I found it made me a little uncomfortable, which I'm not used to compliments, so... That's something I might have to get used to as I, people, because I'm almost to the halfway mark. My goal is to lose 100 pounds because I started at 230. I want to end at 130. So my goal is 100 pounds. So I'm at 47 pounds lost right now. Three more pounds is the halfway point. And I will have less. I will have just as much weight to lose as I have already lost. And I think that point, people will start noticing more because... I'm getting now down to a weight that the people I see now on a day-to-day -day basis 
have not seen me yet. Um, unless they knew me 15 years ago. Then they might have seen me like in the 160 range. But even then, that was the closest I got. You know, I haven't been... I definitely want to get below 150. Haven't been below 150 since my son was born. He's now 20. So that tells you a lot about how long I've fought fat battle. So, anyway, that's about all. Just been doing a lot of thinking and noticing of relationships and how things shift. You know, it's not heartbreaking. It's not putting me in tears or anything. It's just an observation that is kind of a huh thing. Um, but, you know, I've made... I haven't noticed it that much because I've made so many more new friends that I, you know, I only miss the people that have disappeared that were really close to me. And she was one that's always been like a sister to me. And, you know, she's going through her things too, so I think sometimes we have to be patient with people because they are taking charge of our lives, even if it's just one little aspect of our lives. That, but it's really obvious, the change in us. And I think we have to be patient that people notice this and um, give them a chance to catch up. Give them a chance to get used to us being thinner because they've not seen us thinner. Um, this friend of mine, we've only we've been friends for 10, 12 years, but she's never seen me, probably never seen me at this weight. Um, I don't know. Probably not. Um, so, it, and I have not seen her since. So one of these days, I'm just going to show up at her door and see what's going on with her because she's not a friendship I'm going to just let go away. I recognize people have moments they need their space, and she's having a hard time with life in general. So anyways, that's all for this week. Wanted to come at you from my elliptical and show that I can actually talk. Of course it's forced, but I can talk while I'm doing this, and I'm doing a little higher resistance. So. And so far I'm at 20 minutes. I hopefully will get to at least 30 minutes. So I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.